Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our home-based learning for science. Make sure to always be alert and to focus as we proceed for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will be learning about parts of the body. Together, we will all learn to name the different parts of our body and identify what each part can do. Let's get started! Let's do this together. First, let us dance together. What parts of your body are moving as you dance? Can you name some of these parts? This time, let's try to do jumping jacks. What parts of your body are moving as you do the jumping jacks? Now this time to cool you down, let us all inhale and exhale. What parts of your body are moving as you breathe? Do you know how is it possible for our body parts to move? Our brain controls all our body movements. It makes different body parts work together in order for us to move. So when you exercise or when you bend, it is your brain that's telling you to move with your body parts. Let us look into what are the different parts of the body. Let's check how much do you know about your body. Look at the given picture and try to name these body parts. I hope you were able to name all the body parts correctly. Let's play Simon Says. I want you to point at the body part that I'm going to say. I want you to touch your wrist. Where are your wrist? This time, Simon Says, touch your ties. Where are your ties? Simon says, touch your hips. Where are your hips? And lastly, Simon says, touch your calves. Where are your calves? I hope you were able to point that out correctly. Do you know where your wrist, 
hips, thighs, and calves are? What other body parts do you know? Have you ever wondered why every person has a different body shape? Your mom's body shape is definitely different from your dad's. And your body shape is definitely different from your mom's. Our skeleton gives shape to our body. It helps us to sit and stand up straight. What do you think might happen if we don't have a skeleton? Not having any bones or skeleton in our body will make us look like a slime. It will be definitely hard for us to stand and move or even sit up straight. Let's have a little bit of a challenge. I want you to try touching your toes without bending your knees. Can you touch your toes without bending your knees? How does your body feel like when you're trying to do the challenge? Was it easy for you to do? Or it's a little bit hard and difficult and painful as you stretch and touch your toes without bending your knees? What movements can we do with our body? Our body parts work together in order for us to move. Let's take a quick selfie. Smile on the camera as I count from 1, 2, and 3. Hmm, I'm wondering, does everyone in the picture look the same? If yes, why? If no, why do you think so? Always remember that each of us looks different. Each person has a different set of eyes, nose, mouth, ears, and hair. Look at the given picture. It's a picture of a twin. Can you spot any difference? Even twins do not look exactly the same. They also have some differences with some parts or features of their face. Each face is unique. Can you name the different parts in the picture? Let's have a quick trivia. Do you know that our nails protect our fingers and toes? And your fingernails grow faster than your toenails. Let's check how much you have learned. Let's recall. What are the names of these body parts? This time, look at the given picture. Name some body parts that you think are working together in order for that girl to jump. I hope you enjoyed this session. Happy learning!